Okay, so I've been asked to do, I've been asked several times about uh, double clutching a vehicle. And uh, I'm going to attempt to show you as best as I can. I'll explain the general concept right here. Basically what you got is in this pickup you've got a non-synchro gearbox, which means that the gears don't spin up to speed as fast and so you'll grind a lot um, when you go to engage a different gear. Essentially what you do, say you're in first gear, you push in the clutch, pull it to neutral, let out the clutch, and then pull it into second with the clutch. And that's a double clutch. And then you do the same for third gear. Now on a downshift, and that would be without revving on a down or on an upshift. Now on a downshift, it's a little bit different. Basically, what you got to do is you go from say you're in third gear and you want to go to second, you push in the clutch, pull it to neutral, rev it and get the motor running up high, push in the clutch, and pull it back into second gear. And what you're attempting to do is, is get the motor going the same speed as the gears inside the transmission are going, so that when they mesh, they meet, and, and everything goes in together. Otherwise, you got this going slow, and this going fast, and you're trying to get this one to go in. So now I'm going to attempt to show you. I'm not real good at it, but I'll do as best as I can. I forgot to add a lot of your older transmissions and even some of the newer heavy-duty transmissions they had gears that were cut straight just like a regular old straight gear you know the newer transmissions will have a slash cut gear what that does is it'll take up a lot of the lash when you hear you know an older vehicle and you're going down the road and you hear kind of a almost a howling noise but it's it's not like a rear end howl it's a uh, kind of almost difficult to explain you know but what that is, is they would cut those gears straight, so you didn't have anything 
to take up the lash as your gears are, are uh, meshing together. You know, they come straight together and clash as they're going around as opposed to meeting like so. And so you, you would get that howl. That's the other thing that you'll see in older transmissions or even some of the, the newer, not like really new, but some newer heavier duty transmissions. But at any rate, just another little tidbit for you, as long as we're talking transmissions.